Okay, let me put this scenario in your head, okay? You're on the couch or on your bed, wherever, and there's like a box of your favorite candy across the room, okay? But you know, it's out of reach, and like I said, you're comfortable on your bed or couch, and you don't know what to do. You don't want to move, but for some reason, you have a Nerf gun, a thumbtack, rope, and a Nerf dart. What do you do? You put them all together and build the backlog and reel it back. So what's the first thing you're gonna do? First thing you're gonna do, well for me, I'm gonna unscrew the whole gun. I'm gonna tape off all the gray parts and spray paint everything else black. So yeah, all these gray parts, take them off. Or you know, put them aside, but this part will have to tape off. And we're just gonna spray paint everything black. So let's go do that. All right, so grab your screwdrivers. Final tip one fits. Take it all apart. All right, so we got this taken off. So take that away. Done. A lot of pieces, a lot of pieces. So, we're gonna tape off everything but the gray parts, and we're gonna go paint it. Okay, so it's all taped off. So we just you know, got black spray paint. Let's just spray paint this. Alright, so we took a couple of sprays, but um, I got to it eventually. We're gonna go move on to something else right now. We're gonna let this dry. Okay. I don't want this piece to no ordinary kind of just like. Nerf gun with like a rope attached to it and like a nerf dart and a thumbtack. I wanted to have like some sort of special feature where like, you press a button and you know you don't have to use your hand to put back. You just gotta do that and then it just reels back in. So I'm going to be using this for the reel. It's got a motor in there. It, you, know, got, you press this button, got the stuff, batteries are back here. So yeah, we're gonna unscrew the whole thing. I'm gonna take this, whatever this is, off the top, and yeah. All right, to make the claw, all you're gonna need is a Nerf dart, some tack, and some knitting rope. We're using knitting rope because, you know, it's lightweight, and we're not gonna be moving anything heavy, so yeah. So anyways, first step, take your dart and just rip off this orange piece. Take your thumb tack and just make sure that it, it, it fits. See, my, mine does. I put the rope in there too. You gotta make sure the rope fits in the front. If the rope goes into the back, it won't really shoot. It would it wouldn't even go anywhere. Just sit in the barrel and do nothing. So I have the barrel right here. That looks like it works. So if this was to be shot, it would go out. So yeah. That's pretty much all you're really gonna do need to do, aside from gluing 
that, you know, piece into this. And, yeah. So, yeah, let's go glue that now. Okay, so I, I reassembled the whole thing. And, uh, I, for I didn't record this part, mostly because I forgot to take a picture. So, I have to go on YouTube, look for the thing, and take what time to reassemble it. But it was actually kind of fun to reassemble it, so yeah. So anyways, these are all the parts and stuff. Um, yeah, so there's like, uh, you can just look on YouTube for a picture of what the inside looks like. And yeah, let's put it back together. All right, so got it all built back together. There, there's just one problem. Uh, the paint right here kind of like slows down this part. You have to like really push at the end there and just shoot it. So let's see how far our graphical part can go. All right, so to load this up, you just gotta grab your gun. So make sure it's ready to shoot. Take your dart and just put it in through here. Okay, mine is in. I probably should have looked down the barrel what I did anyways. Okay, I'm gonna go across the room. Okay, it's test number two. All right, so this is kind of lame though. Cause it's not like really bad. Like I would have to pull it back with my hand, and that's just that's boring. Nobody likes doing that anymore. That's why I was making that thing with the motor. So yeah, that's gonna be our reel, and we have to find a spot on the gun for it. So yeah, let's go do that now. Right, so get the whole gun built. It's the real batteries and stuff. All right, so now we got all the parts attached. This is just um, the sewing rope I was using. I added this like orange uh, straw, so when we're reeling it back in, it'll um, it won't just fly everywhere. It'll slowly come in through this way. So. Everywhere here is controlled. Everywhere out here is not controlled. So it'll just flap everywhere here. Here it will go in the way I want it to. Um, got the button here. We got that there. So that'll tighten it. And uh, let's give it. Let's give it a test shot. Let's give it a test shot. Okay. So when you're shooting it, you gotta unreal this. And then you just shoot. Oh, that one's perfect. And then you just reel it back. Okay, so now that we're done building it, it's time to actually do a test and we'll grab something and bring it back to us. See, but here's the problem. I'm fresh out of bag, guys. So I can't, you know, I can't use this for actual Batman kind of stuff. So, we're just going to have to use, like, everyday use and stuff. So let's go do that. Let's do that.
part that I said start video. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like, you know, in real life. Okay. Oh, it wasn't recording. Oh my god. Okay, I hit the shot and it wasn't recording. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I was really back in though.